Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the Taylor series for this function centered at negative 1. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, we are going to make use of this. So, uh, so e to the power of 3x will look something like this. Will look something like this. e to the power of 3x will look something like this. So we would start out with our general power series. I don't know what it looks like. I'm just going to say, say it looks something like this. And then, so, so we would start out with our, our, our general power series. We would then apply this transformation because we, because we want to uh, evaluate it at negative one. Then we need to apply this transformation. So our, 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 this graph here will then become this. Well, when you apply this transformation, everything gets shifted across by, by, uh, by, well, everything gets shifted across by one. So, uh, so it would then become something like this. It would then become something like this. Oops. Um, then it becomes something like this. Let's say something like this. So, um, so now this is at negative one. So, so when you want to evaluate it at, um, or at negative one, apply this transformation, then everything gets shifted across by, by one. And then, and then we would differentiate this. We would then differentiate this. And then we would differentiate it again. But then we would differentiate it again and again. And then we would differentiate this. Differentiate it again and again, and then we would demand the first derivative of this to match up the first derivative of this, the second derivative of this to match up the second derivative of this. When you make those demands, this uh, this black line here will slowly map on top of what you're trying to investigate. It, when you demand the first derivative of this to match up the first derivative of this, it will slowly map on top of what you're trying to investigate, which is e to the power of three x. So so the equation. It, so, so when you make those demands, the the the, uh, the the equation of the black line will then become this, will then become this, and this is something that well, this is your your Taylor series evaluated at well centered at um, at negative one. So you're going to have plus one here, plus one here, plus one here, and so on. So the the point that we uh, that I'm trying to illustrate is that we are trying to get to our Taylor series centered at negative one. So we so we need this x plus one in there. So so looking at this, we need this. We need we need x plus one in there. So we need to expand it so that it contains so that it contains x plus one. But the thing is, this is not the same as this now. Now now this is not the same as this. We are trying to investigate this, but we've changed this. So so we need to well 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 if you, if you have x x plus 1 because we need x plus 1 we need x plus 1 we need x plus 1 but simply insert simply changing this x to x plus 1 we've just changed our, our whole function this is no longer the same as this so we need to um, we need to to make this adjustment we need to um, to make this adjustment now this is exactly the same as this we can now expand this and because this is exactly the same as this it would well this is now exactly the same as this. So let's expand. Let's now expand this. So hang on. So let's now let's now expand this. So hang on. So let's uh, let's now expand expand. Hang on. Where were we? Sorry, bear with me. Um. So so uh, yeah. So 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 we were we were here. So now uh, now this thing here is the same as e to the power of minus 3 and then e uh, 3x uh, plus 1 so so this is just a constant it's just so so now uh, don't, don't forget this whole thing here is the same as this and this whole thing here is exactly the same as this so now we just need to expand this but let's just leave this for the time being let's just concentrate on this block so now we need to expand this so going down here hang on so now we uh, we need to expand this, but let's. So here you've got one block multiplying another. Let's just leave this for for the time being. Let's just concentrate on this. So let's just expand this. So looking at this, looking at this, we uh, we've got e to the power of bubble. So we've got e to the power of, of that bubble. So when you expand it, you have one. You have one plus 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 the bubble. So our bubble is this thing here. So that's our bubble here, and then and then the second one would be bubble squared. So the second one would be would be would be uh, 
would be bubble squared. So it would be like this, squared. So so that's the same as this, three uh, three squared, and then this thing squared, and then the the uh, and so on. So so using this, if you expand it, it will then give you it will then give you this, and then uh, that's the same as this. So so this thing here is the same as this. So this whole series can be uh, you, you can write it in this form. So now uh, now so so this block here becomes this. Now we need to uh, to bring back this e to the power of minus three. This is just a constant. It's just a number. So uh, so now so this thing here equals this. So now times e to the power of minus three. So that would then be this times this. So you can actually push this into here. So that will then give you this. So this is our series. Okay, and and um, and we need. We, we need to check when it's uh we need to check the the interval so if you look at this here um this the series will represent this if the if the modulus of this is less than infinity meaning it works for all x so our our series here will our series here will represent this uh for all values of x okay so so this is your final answer